Good afternoon. Welcome. Uh, this is me just sent some e in Ukraine form. And right now we'll talk about the air forces of Ukraine. Our speaker today is Yuri Ignat, the spokesperson for the air force of Ukraine Zound forces. Yuri, hello. Here in studio, tell us about the operational situation as of now. Good afternoon, colleagues. First of all, just to learn more about the armed forces of Ukraine, because often enough uh, the journalists and uh, ordinary people believe that the armed forces are uh, the jets, uh, fighters flying in the skies. But the armed force, uh, the air force, uh, is 50,000 people strong in peacetime and is comprised of a number of important arms. First of all, aviation. Uh, bombers and uh, uh, transport aviation and destroyers and uh, UAVs. Well, these are aviation components. The second uh, arm are the uh, air defense forces, those that are downing the enemy aerial uh, targets. A couple of days ago, we published that the air force of the air force of Ukraine have uh, shot down 500 targets, including including uh, cruise missiles, jets, helicopters, and UAVs, and electronic warfare uh, troops. This is yet another uh, arm, and we have uh, local production of electronic warfare components that we sell and use ourselves. Everything else, the whole fleet, probably with the exception of uh, Bayraktars and Ukrainian UAVs, well, this was the uh, equipment of 1980s, but even in the uh, hands of our um, technicians and engineers, it uh, helps fight us in the air and on the land. What's happening in the skies? How did you manage to survive and what does the enemy use most frequently? Well, everybody asks the question, how come that air force that was supposed to be destroyed in the first hours of the Russian aggression on February the 24th, how did we manage to preserve all that? And on the 111th day of war, we still uh, defend our airspace. Well, first of all, for more than two months, the enemy is not flying to the controlled territory of Ukraine, and this is a great uh, result already. The temporarily occupied territories, uh, they use uh, jets uh, and helicopters, but we managed uh, to preserve uh, is the preparation. All the eight years that the Russian Federation tells uh, as the mantra of war in Donbass. Well, all those eight years we've been calculating the risks, fully recognizing plans A, B, C that might arise in each situation. We were all hoping that we would be able to avoid the conflict, but it's happened and we were ready for it. In a minute, the decision was make, made to get the main uh, aviation from under the attack and the personnel and thus we managed to preserve our main air force assets from the destruction by R Russian forces otherwise they will have total control over the skies all the way to the western borders they would have and the potential of uh, uh, Russia is great we had about 700 uh, uh, planes and helicopters uh, even though we destroyed a lot of uh, enemy uh, targets, but the enemy brings more reserves from uh, 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 mainland Russia. So right now we are controlling the air force at uh, the Ukraine controlled territories. And the situation is that the enemy uses its aviation from Belarus, from Black Sea, from the territory of Russia. First of all, strategic bombers 2164 and 295 that uh, launch 
high technological bombs in Ukraine, which are expensive, costing uh, millions of dollars, uh, like caliber uh, uh, missiles, naval uh, rockets. Well, they haven't been uh, saving their oil dollars. But recently there is a trend that they start uh, saving such expensive, high-precision uh, missiles. And that's why they start using Soviet uh, cruise missiles like aviation bomb H-59 uh, and H-22, one of the uh, missiles that destroys the most. Uh, its payload is 900 kilos. It uh, leaves tremendous ruins and there is huge uh, drawback is that it's uh, not precise. It uh, uh, often enough misses where you send it and that's why civilian infrastructure suffers, suffers a lot. Well, with all the accompanying casualties, that's why they use those missiles. Now, speaking about the air raid alarms, well, uh, one of the, those is in Kiev right now and people keep asking us how the system operates is it worth making any uh, uh, considerations to hide or not to hide? Well, you make your own conclusions. We will keep announcing uh, air raid alarms and we advise you not to ignore them because, like I said, these are high technological bombs. 295 to, uh, will uh, launch it from uh, the Caspian Sea. They take off uh, near Astrakhan and then one jet could carry 260, 16 or 12 missiles to 95-8 cruise missiles. And they can fly uh, as one dot on radar. We use different uh, um, intelligence data, including from partners, but those rockets, those missiles, can fly uh, uh, over Black Sea and then change its course. And we announce the uh, uh, air raid alarm by identifying where it might fly and what would be its potential target using our intelligence for that. And the missile could uh, change its uh, course 50 uh, degrees this way or that way. And so uh, it will be flying along the route that was set for it by the operators. It's done to avoid... Uh, the um, air defense capabilities if the enemy knows where we have those assets deployed then the missile uh, course would be uh, using those uh, uh, loopholes that's why we all need to be focused and uh, attentive to identify enemy agents. It's important for us. We are using various data from people that we receive to chatbots. This is extremely important for the whole nation. The most frequent question, why uh, the missiles uh, hit their targets cell? Well, these are highly technological uh, items, missiles. The missiles are designed to be uh, not easy detected, flying 50 meters high, uh, following the course of the river where it uh, disappears from radars, what was happening in the early days of invasion. And not all of our uh, air, air defense uh, uh, weapons can destroy them because uh, we have the uh, tools for air defense uh, 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 not anti-missile anti defense it's anti-artillery defense uh, S-30 and Book 1 they, their major job are the aerial targets of the enemy uh, helicopters and jets which we can uh, destroy but we're still down the um, cruise missiles but it's difficult to hit 
such a target. Well, uh, cruise missiles could be of different size. We've been training to uh, shoot them down in those eight years that I was talking about. We've been training at uh, Kagerlik uh, uh, location, but now it's being occupied. Before uh, occupation of Crimea, we were training there, conducting military exercises there. Uh, yeah, the Chowder, that's how the range was called. Annually, we will conduct exercises where we would learn how our uh, anti-aircraft uh, forces were hitting a race UAV, which is very much similar to uh, cruise missile having the same uh, altitude and uh, pace. And how, that's how we learn to shut them down. Lots of uh, very successful um, exercises and that's why we keep hitting them better and better uh, because their rockets is much more t uh, technologically advanced than the UAVs that we shut down in Kherson region. I have to ask about the he uh, heroic deeds of our pilots. So what would come to your mind straight away and what would you be able to share with us now? Heroic deeds, well, I, that's what all our people are doing, that's what our commander also mentioned, who also constantly uh, repeated that our sky protect uh, defenders are now being awarded uh, presidents medals that's important to award people uh, so week one and two were the toughest uh, parts for all of us all of the defenders because we had to get back to our senses we need uh, well we learned we knew that it's going to be coming uh, and one of the examples involving pilots covered already extensively in uh, government media uh, Fortis Tactical Brigade uh, protects Kyiv and that's where the image of the um, uh, ghosts of Kyiv this is a collective image of all of the pilots fighting for Kyiv and at that time uh, they knew that there will be Brigade 32 in Zhitomir, but we decided we will be defending the capital, which was uh, target number one for the invaders. And the air uh, battles were very tough because the enemy prevailed us 1 to 5, 1 to 6, but uh, our first and foremost weapon is morale. We are fighting for our own homes, for our own uh, motherland, and uh, uh, also uh, the protection of our own uh, uh, air defense systems. Uh, so, when two MiG-29 uh, destroyers uh, flew to take care of four enemy bombers, so those three dots turned into 12 jets. But our two pilots haven't deviated. They went and uh, fought them straight away. And as a result of this aerial uh, fight, which the occupiers are so much afraid of because they try to avoid close combat, we lost our pilot, Alexandra Brijala. The second pilot uh, returned, but the enemy lost three jets, expensive, highly technological jets in that battle. That was one of those... Uh, examples of the willingness to fight and to sacrifice themselves which in uh, such unfair conditions 12 and 2 still they defeated the enemy similar pa parallels with air defense troops and uh, electronic warfare troops well EW it's responsible for communications and such but there are lots of uh, service women serving there and in the first days of the invasion they were fighting the Russian paratroopers 
they and they did it and we need to respect that colleagues thank you please use the microphone tell us please there there are fresh examples on uh, june the 11th and 12th close to zoom uh, sue and car 52 were shut down can you share any details on that and one more thing i would like to get back to uh, February the 26th, the night fight at Vasil Kiev, and they informed that there was Il, Il, Il 76 downed after the occupation of our territories. Did we learn more about that situation? What was happening there? So, Il, yeah, we heard about this, but for the time being, we have no visualization that we can show to you uh, because the pilot did hit the target according to the pilot he hit the target and lots of people say show us where it is because the target might fly elsewhere and be located uh, in somewhere where we cannot find it uh, so so far we failed to find this target uh, on the ground, but it did fell and it was supported by uh, active control means. As to Ka-52 helicopter, there was one of the brigades of the uh, land forces. If you're talking about the last uh, example, well, you need to ask of them, because we are hitting down not only aerial um, targets, but uh, uh, there are uh, lots of air defense uh, cannons, uh, 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 Stinger, Star Trek, and other systems that we shared with the National Guards, with other uh, troops. Well, unfortunately. Uh, it's not enough of them to hit the jet uh, at large distances. Well, uh, the Stinger might not uh, uh, reach the target flying over four kilometers, so the uh, armed forces and the government are trying to constantly agree with our partners that so they need to provide us such... Uh, weapons that would allow us to hit the occupiers both in terms of the range and uh, cal caliber as to su-35 jet yeah we shot it down and like i said uh, they are trying to avoid any chances to uh, come to our airspace or uh, this example su-34-1 uh, turned around the the second tried it luck and was hit by our rockets uh, uh, complex. As to Su-35, it was uh, uh, hunting for our Su-25 jets, and it could hit uh, land targets as well, but his task was to intercept our, our uh, uh, jets, but uh, as a result, uh, we hit the enemy instead. Thank you. Further questions, please. How many sorties does uh, Russian Air Force do every day? And uh, so how many missiles and uh, rockets uh, does uh, uh, Russian air fighter uh, launch a day? And uh, so I wonder now or uh, Russian precision guided missile is running out, and how is the situation of, of, of Russian army's capability to do the uh, precision attack? And so, how is their operation now? Oh, oh, their air fighter is oh, oh, flying above the uh, Donbas area and launch the uh, air missile. And so I heard that the uh, Russian uh, precision missile and rocket is made by uh, Western technologies, including Japanese. And so uh, you, you research, do research and 
and you found the Japanese component in missiles. Could you explain about that? Got it. Well, you are stating it very co correctly that all high precision ammunition like Orlan 10 UAVs, which we shut down uh, all the time, uh, they receive them from all over the world, Canadian technologies, US, Japanese, Chinese. How m many uh, of such missiles are left with them? We don't know for sure, but we conduct analytics and we have the military department that uh, military intelligence department that has such information we just hope that they will run out of them soon but the fact that uh, more and more often the enemy uses H-59 and H-22 rockets that only says that they start saving because the rocket H-101 uh, they don't launch it from Donbas they launch it from Caspian Sea from Astrakhan in Russia, and it could have nuclear warhead like uh, any other mis uh, uh, um, cruise missile. So it's H-102, that's the classification of those uh, missiles. And yes, we see the confirmation that they start saving it here, because they're not fighting against Ukraine, they fight with the whole world. There is Japan close by, uh, and certain political issues with you, so they need to keep uh, uh, threatening the whole world uh, at, at various uh, political vectors. So hopefully the Western partners will meet their obligations on not providing any technologies to Russia because uh, otherwise uh, uh, Russians will use those technologies against them. Uh, so we hope that the whole world will help to limit Russia in access to them. Uh, uh, in any way, they, they will try this terrorist state to uh, keep buying those uh, technologies uh, as contraband, smuggling it, but we ho hope to prevent them from ruining the whole world. Any further questions, please? Thank you, thank you for being here. That was Yuri Ignat, the spokesperson of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Thank you. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes.